back, this time with my mom. She's gonna be my yogi buddy today. We're gonna do um, the series that I normally teach in the studio. So today, instead of 60 minutes, we're gonna do 45 minutes. Just stretch it down a little bit and make it go a little bit faster. Um, those who have taken my other sequence, which is the fusion that I posted, um, it's gonna be a little bit different, so more holding the postures than flowing through it. Yeah, grab some water, get a mat, ours is behind us, and we'll get started. Let's do it. All right, we'll begin in pranayama breathing, standing deep breathing, and release all 10 fingers underneath the chin, thumbs touching the throat. Slowly as much as you can, squeeze the elbows together, find a comfortable position with your feet, contract the quads and the glutes. And you inhale, so count of six, slowly elbows start to rise, abs and shoulders down, deep breath through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, it's your ha sauna. Slowly elbows touch. Inhale. Chin comes down, gaze comes forward, elbows separate, inhale, lift up, hold. Exhale, release the head back, exhale through the mouth, shoulders down, abs in, elbows touch. Inhale. Chin comes down, gaze comes to the forehead or to that side wall, inhale, lift up, find one spot to hold. Exhale, release the head back. Shoulders are down, spine straight, elbows touch. Inhale, chin comes down, gaze comes forward. Pull the belly in, play down to the feet, lift up in the spine. Exhale, release the head back. Exhale through the mouth. Elbows touch, inhale. Chin comes down, gaze comes forward, elbows separate, rise at the same time, inhale, deep breath, hold. Exhale. Exhale through the mouth, warming up the body, elbows touch. Inhale. Last one right here, make it count. Chin comes down, warming up the body from the inside out. Elbows rise, hold. Exhale on your own, exhale through the mouth. Elbows touch. Good, release the arms down to the side. Find your gaze at one spot to focus on. All right, from the top of the mat, so you're going to ask our sun salutations, five sets. Top of the mat, toes, heels together, number one, inhale, arms overhead. Back bend, exhale, four folds. Step the right leg back, inhale, back bend, lunge. Exhale, downward dog. Drop to the knees, inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Step the right foot, inhale, back bend, lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, and down to the side. Top of the mat, toes, heels together, number two, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Step the right leg, inhale, back bend, lunge. Exhale, downward dog. Drop to the knees, inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Step the right foot, inhale, back bend, lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, and down to the side. Top of the mat, toes, heels together, number three, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, back bend, lunge. Exhale, downward dog, step the left leg. Drop to the knees, upward dog, inhale. Exhale, downward dog. Step the right foot, inhale, back bend, lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, arms down to the side. Number four, inhale, back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Step the right leg, inhale, back bend, lunge. Exhale, downward dog. Drop to the knees, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Step the right foot, inhale, back bend, lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, the mat toes, heels together, number four, five. Inhale, back bend. Last one, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, downward dog. Drop to the knees, try chaturanga, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Step the right foot, inhale, back bend, lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, arms down to the side. Toes, heels together. Find one point of focus to limit distraction. Inhale, breathe. Exhale, breathe. Good, center the mat. First posture. Arshan Jasa, Padas, Asana, Half Moon, Nithi, and feet. Center the mat, toes, heels together. Inhale, arms overhead. Inhale, release the fingers, release the next fingers up. Inhale, lift up, lengthen. Exhale, a couple times. Bend the upper body to the right and the left, bending both sides of the body. Use this as a pre-stretch for the posture. Then come back up. Squeeze the legs, toes, heels together, arms by your ears. Squeeze them. Inhale, lift up, lengthen. Exhale, bend the upper body to the right. Hip squat to the left. So it's a little bit shorter hold right here, 
Then get the benefits by staying strong. Squeeze the legs, pull the belly in, roll the shoulders down, lift the chin. One point of focus. So maybe on your wall, on your counter, wherever you find one spot, maybe one speck in the wall where you can hold your focus, eliminate your distraction, maximize the meditation and the stretch. Last few moments, you're jumping over, stretch. Use the hips, pushing out to the left, upper body to the right, chest comes through, squeeze the arms, lift the chin, stretch. Inhale, upper body back up, good. Inhale, lift up, lengthen, exhale, bend upper body to the left, hips out to the right. Breathe in and out through the nose continuously. Lift the chin, squeeze the arms. Straighten out the legs, squeeze the palms, you got it. Breathe in and out through the nose, so squeeze into those arms, squeeze into those ears. Find your focus on that side wall. Recontract into the legs, starting from the ground up, last 10. Reach up and over a little bit more, stretch, use the hips, push them to the right, upper body to the left. Lift the chin, squeeze the arms, breathe. Inhale, upper body back up, good. Inhale, exhale, release your head back, look right and left. Stretch your cervical spine, get ready for your first backward bend. And then contract into those legs before we go back. Inhale, lift up into the spine, lift up to the ceiling. Exhale, release the head back. Then start to walk your hands back, ceiling tile by ceiling tile. So as you start to move back, if you don't have ceiling tiles, find your gaze maybe towards the back wall behind you. But lift up out of that lower vertebrae. Squeeze the arms straight. Squeeze into those legs. Roll the shoulders down. You got it. Last few moments, stretch back home. Inhale, come back up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, maybe bend the legs, straighten the spine, upper body comes down. Hands to the mat, walk the legs out right and left. If you take a squat or two, stretch in the lower back, hips, ankles, knees, wherever you feel it today. Walk the hips out. Hands to feet, bend the legs, cup and grab the back side of your heels. Use all five fingers to pull. Pinkies are on the inside, thumbs on the outside. Now your head hangs heavy towards the floor. As your head comes down, notice your gaze on the shins. If this is way too much for you, maybe hold on to those shins, hold on to the back side of the calves, and then slowly bring the upper body down. But the goal, to bend those legs, to get the grip, and to pull. Bring the hips up to the ceiling, head hangs heavy. Gaze on those shins and hold it here. When you develop the hold, you rely more on your breath. Shoulders are down, belly is in tight. Try to straighten out those legs today if that's where you're at. Tuck the chin a little bit more. Get the forehead to those shins. Pull up, straighten them out. Last few moments, breathe. Good, hands come out to this in front of you. Inhale, lead with the chin. Maybe bent legs, upper body back up. Exhale, arms down to the side. Breathe in and out through the nose. Stand tall. Stand still. Triangle. Turn and face the side of your mat towards the long leg. Trikonasana, inhale, arms overhead, palms touch. Exhale, take a wide step out to the right. Arms parallel to the floor. Turn the right foot out, face the back wall. Lunge into the right leg. Come a couple of times into it. Stack the right knee on top of that right ankle. Inhale, upper body back up to center. Flip the palms. Exhale, tilt. Bring the right elbow inside of that right knee, looking up towards those left fingertips. Now you sit low into that right lunge. Try to straighten out throughout those arms. If you can't get this low, you just lift up tall and keep that posture in your spine. But sit as low as you can for today. Every body is different. Chin to the left shoulder, stretch the arms, try to twist in the spine. Pull the belly in, tuck the tailbone under, sit a little bit lower, last few moments, stretch, hold. Good, inhale, upper body back up. Right foot in, left foot out. Face the front of the room, sit low to this left side. Come as low as you can. And then come to your deepest lunge. Inhale, upper body back up to center. Flip the palms, exhale, tilt. Left elbow inside of that left knee, looking up at those right fingertips. Now, you find your lunge, so you sit low. And then your gaze, second part. So chin to the right shoulder, and you look up towards those right fingertips. In most every posture that we're doing, we have the focal point. Breathe in through the nose, up through the nose, pull the belly in, straighten the spine. Sit a little bit lower to that left leg. Stretch through the arms, twist in the shoulders, sit a little bit lower, heart rate is rising. Last few moments, last breath, sit lower, breathe in and out through the nose, belly in. 
Let them release, inhale everybody back up, inhale left foot in. Step to the left, inhale, palms touch. Exhale, arms down to the side. Find one, spo one spot, one point of focus, breathe in and out through the nose. Staying step like head to knee, inhale, arms overhead, palms touch, thumbs cross. Take a few foot step to the right. Pivot on your heels, face the back wall. Bring the left hip through, left foot is on a 45 degree angle, both legs are straight. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, tuck the chin, round down into the spine. Pull the belly in and then separate the hands on either side of that right foot. And then get the forehead to the knee. So if the forehead is not touching the knee, you bend the right leg until it touches. Belly is in tight, shoulders are down, hands press out in front of you. Round into the spine and then slowly you'll be able to use that forehead to straighten that right leg out. If you can, if that forehead is touching that right knee, hands come back out into prayer. Squeeze the palms together. Pull the belly in, press the thumbs. Good, straighten the left, tuck the chin. Inhale, come back up. Pivot on your heels, face the side mirror. For the one more time, face the front. Side mirror, we don't have mirrors here. We have balls. So bring that right hip through a couple times. Good, inhale, lift up. Exhale, tuck the chin, round down. Good. Squeeze the palms, separate the hands, bread to the knee. Both legs are straight, they start out that way, and then you can start to bend the left leg, get the forehead to touch the knee. Belly is in tight, shoulders move down. Press the hands out in front of you. Always contract that right quad, pull the core in, push the floor away from you. Tuck the chin. Slowly you'll be able to use that forehead to straighten out that left leg and then bring the hands back out in front of you into prayer. Good, hands come out in front of you, straighten the leg, tuck the chin, inhale, come back up. Move it on your heels, face up to the left. Exhale, arms down to the side. Breathe in and out through the nose, deep breaths. Nice, straight face the front. Then the mat toes, heels together, take your hips to step to the right, to the front of the heels for awkward. Inhale, arms directly in front of those shoulders. Inhale, deep breath. Exhale, sit low. So your hips come back, arms reach forward. Those who haven't done yoga before, it's kind of like a squat. You sit back with the heels, you reach forward with those arms for balance. Shoulders down, belly in, lift up in the chest, hold it through, shoulders down, sit a little bit lower, breathe. Inhale, your body back up, good. Keep the arms there, second part. Inhale as high as you can under those soupy toes, coming up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, soften those knees and come down. Think heels high, lengthen in the spine. Reach forward with those arms, shoulders are down, belly is in tight, spine is straight. Sit a little bit lower. If the legs start to shake, that's good. You're recruiting the muscles, sit lower, breathe. Good, inhale, release, heels are together. And then third and final part, inhale, halfway up. Squeeze the knees and thighs together. Inhale, exhale, squeeze those legs together and come down. Keeping that spine straight and lifted. Belly is in, straighten through those arms, sit a little bit lower, holding it through, spine is straight, belly in, sit low, breathe. Good, inhale, upper body back up, release the heels. Toes, heels together, arms by your side, breathe in through the nose, deep breath, out through the nose. Garasa eagle on your first water break, inhale, arms overhead, palms touch. Exhale, swing the right arm underneath the left, cross the elbows and the wrist, palms touch. This is too tight, hold on to those shoulders. Inhale, exhale, sit low into the hips. Inhale, right leg up and over that left leg. Try to cross up the ankle or point at the toes. So you sit low into those hips, you lift up into the chest, and then you start to squeeze the legs and those arms in opposite directions. Shoulders are down, breathe in and out through the nose. Sit low into the hips. One point of focus, hold it there. Pull the belly and last deep breath, sit a little bit lower. Inhale, release, arms overhead, palms touch. Exhale, swing the left arm underneath the right, cross at the elbows, palms touch, or hold onto those shoulders again. Inhale, exhale, sit low. Inhale, left leg up and over. Point the toes, sit lower. Try to wrap the foot if that's where you're at, or just point the toes back if it's tight. Shoulders are down. Notice the stretch in the spine, so you lift up a little bit higher. Sit a little bit lower into those hips. Deep breath, abs in, shoulders down, hold. Good, release, thumbs overhead, palms touch. Exhale, arms down to the side. Before you move, take a deep breath. Good sip of water, first water break, and then keep going. Hi guys, how you doing? My hair's going a little crazy. It's hard to do this without heat. 
but we're doing it a little bit faster so that your body generates the heat. How are you doing? Good. Great. Standing head to knee, come to the center of the mat, toes, heels together, we're gonna do one set of each. Gaze comes to that side wall, find one point of focus. Contract the left quad, inhale the right knee up, abs in, round down. And you're like, all ten fingers, two inches below the toes, you are here, hold. Belly is in tight, shoulders are down. Stay strong into that left leg, that's your foundation, keep it strong. Round into the spine, if it's too much for you right here, you're going to hold on to your knee and stand tall. If you have lower back discomfort, if you have pain, just holding on to that knee and standing tall. But if you can, you must. So if you're holding on to that foot, if you can hold on to that foot, go for it. Try it. Start to kick. Flex the right foot. Contract the left quad. Still one point of focus. And start to kick forward with that right leg. Straightening out that right leg as much as you can. Feeling the stretch right away down the back side of that right leg. If you're staying in this first position, this, you stay right here and breathe. Shoulders down, abs in. Last few moments, pick up, stretch. Good, really strike foot down, close heels together, arms by your side. Breathe in and out through the nose, stand still. Left side, knees to that side wall, contract the right quad. Inhale, left knee up, abs in, round down. Interlace all 10 fingers, two inches below the toes, you are here. Contract that right quad, straighten it out as much as you can. If the right leg is bent and you're holding onto the foot, just stay in that first position for the whole time. If the right leg is straight, you can start to kick. You're holding onto that foot, if it's just too much for you, hold onto the knee and stand taller. But if you can, you must hold onto that foot, start to kick, kick up and forward towards that front knee. Feel the stretch on the back side of that left leg. Straighten out that right leg even more. Maybe wrap the elbows underneath the calf. Get that forehead to touch the knee. Kick up forward stretch. Good, really. Slap it down. Close heels together, arms by your side. Breathe in through the nose. Out through the nose. So the arms, down your down your ass standing bow. Inhale, left arm up. Pick up right foot from the inside. So either the elbow faces the right side. And then you pick up the foot. Knees are back together, inhale, lift up, lengthen. So this posture starts when you kick. You inhale, reach up, and you exhale, kick. Maybe kick one inch, reach forward one inch. Stand strong into the left leg, feel the stretch in the spine. Open up into the chest, feel the compression in that lower back. If you're right here and that left leg is bending or you are wobbling, you are trying to develop those muscles. So just stand up taller and just hold it up here. If you can kick, kick back, reach forward. Lift the chin, reach forward with the left arm, kick back with that right leg, hold it through your last few moments, stretch. Inhale, release, right foot down, left arm down. Toes, heels together, gaze towards that wall, breathe in and out through the nose. Left side, inhale, right arm up. Pick up the right left foot from the inside, all five fingers together, knees back together, you are here. Again, right leg is strong, but the posture starts when you kick. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, kick back and reach forward. So you don't have to kick and reach all the way, right away, but you can start by kicking an inch, reach forward an inch. If you're standing up here, if you are wobbling, make sure that standing leg is straight before you kick. Lift up into the chest, into the chin. If you are kicking, left leg kicks back, right arm reaches forward. Breathe. Breathe in and out through the nose, lift the chin. Open the chest, open the spine, kick and reach, hold it through. Good, inhale, release, left foot down, right arm down. Toes, heels together, gaze forward. Breathe in and out through the nose, stand tall. You're doing great. Back of the mat, to the nest of balancing stick, quick 10 seconds. And then we'll bring your heart rate down after. Inhale, arms overhead. Inhale, the fingers, release the next fingers up. Inhale, step onto the right foot. Point the toes of the left foot and then come down. Bend at the waist. Come in at capital letter T. Strain the legs, lift the chin, squeeze the arms, breathe, lengthen the spine. Good, inhale, step back, toes, heels together, and up. Inhale, last side, step onto the left foot, point the toes of the right foot, exhale, bend at the waist. Upper body comes down, straighten the legs, squeeze those arms, come a little bit lower, lift the chin, hold. Good, inhale, step back, exhale, hands down. Breathe in and out through the nose, stand tall, stand still. Try to face the side of your mat. Lower down the heart rate. Inhale, arms overhead, palms touch, some inversion postures. Take your wide step out to the right. 
Feet below the wrist, arms parallel to the floor, so widen the feet as much as your arms are. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, use the chin, slowly coming down. Hands meet the mat right here. Let them stretch out. And now if the legs are bent today, grab one of the shins and pull that upper body down. If the legs are straight today, cuff and grab the back side of your heels from the outside. And then start to bring the upper body down using the bicep strength. Chest comes through, gaze comes towards the floor. Hips will come up, but heart rate will naturally start to lower right here. So your head below the heart, head hangs heavy, hips come up. Take two deep breaths on your own right here. Inhale through the nose, one cycle of breath. Exhale through the nose. Last one. Exhale through the nose. Head hands come back to the side. Inhale, lead with the chin up in. Inhale, you step to the left. Exhale, limbs down to the side. Breathe in and out through the nose. Stand tall. Stand still. Turn to face the front, Tadasana tree. Find one point of focus again, as in all the rest of the postures. Inhale the right foot up, high into the left hip flexor, use the underhand grip of the left hand. Place it as high as you can, draw the right knee down. Once you find your balance, right hand comes up. Squeeze the elbows in close, shoulders are down, belly in. Now stay strong into that left leg, stand up taller. Breathe in and out through the nose, and then eventually you'll be able to draw the right knee down. Final one point of focus to focus on. If you are wobbling, you're working on that strength in that left leg. Try to hold into that space. Stand tall. Be strong in that left leg. Contract the quad. Mount down on the left big toe. Maybe spread the toes, that left foot onto the ground. Last few breaths. Lift up tall as you inhale, rise. Roll the shoulders down, draw the right knee down, inhale, breathe. And exhale, release, right foot down, toes, heels together, arms by your side. Left side, inhale, left foot up high to the right hip, flexor, use underhand grip of the right hand. So you're opening up the right shoulder as well as the left. Once you find your balance, left hand comes up. Contract the right quad, straighten the leg, lift up out of the lower back, draw the left knee down. Breathe in and out through the nose, stand tall, stand still. Roll the shoulders down, lift up each breath, hold it through. Pull the belly in, stand strong, contract the right core. Inhale, last breath on your own, hold it here, breathe. Exhale, release, pop it down, toes, heels together, arms by your side, take a deep breath, stand tall. Good, and then come onto your mat, acknowledge the standing series, and then come onto your floor, take a quick sip of water, and we'll go into the floor series. Now stretch toes, turn out palms, face up by your side, finding one spot on your ceiling where your belly button tends to be. Your neck will relax and you'll be in a neutral position for your neck. And now using the Savasana to rest. Savasana is the posture that people maybe use the least, but it is the most helpful for your mind and for your body. It builds awareness as you start to notice your breath. When it moves in through the nose, your belly will rise. Exhale through the nose, belly will fall. And whatever you're focusing on, always coming back to your breath. Acknowledge it, let it go, and come back to your breath. When you're moving, inhale, right knee up, and release the fingers two inches below the right knee, avoid the rib cage, and then bring it towards that right shoulder. Notice the shoulders, if they're tensed up, relax them down, tuck the chin, and squeeze into that right side. Breathe in and out through the nose, inhale, squeeze into that right side, maybe flex the left foot, lengthen with the left heel, or maybe just relax the left foot. You'll feel the extension in the left hip, compression in the right, inhale, left breath, hold. Good, release, inhale, left knee up. And release the fingers two inches below the left knee. Knees come to the left and slightly towards that left shoulder. Flex the right foot, lengthen with the right heel, roll the shoulders down, hold the belly in, tuck the chin, inhale, hold it through, squeeze, tight, hold. Good, release, inhale, both knees up. 
Grab an opposite elbows, forearms, or wrists. Try to get the tightest grip that you can with the right arm up on top. Squeeze the knees in tight, roll the shoulders down, tuck the chin, looking down that diamond pocket of space between the hands and the feet. Lower that lower back to the floor, bring the feet up side by side, inhale, squeeze tight. Inhale, feet up, flex the feet, use your ab strength, bring them down. Heels touch, toes turn out, palms feet set by your side, find one spot in the ceiling where your belly button would be. Two cross in the back, release, bend both legs, place the feet flat to the floor, close to the glutes. Inhale, right foot up and over the left knee. Thread the right arm through the middle, and interlace all ten fingers, two inches below the left knee. Now your knees, to feel the stretch, will come to the left slightly, then up towards the left shoulder. Start to use your bicep strength, tuck the chin, squeeze the shoulders down. If you are feeling the stretch right here, hold it through. If it's too tight, you can hold onto the hamstrings and relax the left heel down. If it's not enough, you're holding onto that knee and you're squeezing in tight, use the right elbow, press the right knee out, inhale, squeeze. Good release, inhale, left knee up. Thread the left arm through the middle and release all 10 fingers, two inches below the right knee. Knees come to the right, shoulders down, abs in. So when you pull into the right side, you'll feel the stretch into the left glute, the left hip, and then eventually into the lower back. But you have to hold to get those benefits. Inhale, squeeze tight. Squeeze and breathe through the discomfort. Use the left elbow if you have more flexibility. Inhale, squeeze tight, hold. Good, release. Inhale, both knees up. Grab on opposite elbows, forms, and wrists. Left arm up on top. We're going to be an opposite arm that was on top that first time. Squeeze the knees in, shoulders down, abs in. Inhale, hold it through. You're a little bit more warm. Squeezing into those knees. Good, inhale, feet up. Release. Use the abs strength. Flex the feet down. Straighten the legs. Heels touch, toes turn out, palms face up. Take a deep breath. Then great if you're first sit up, flex the toes towards your face. Inhale, arms overhead. Inhale. Exhale twice. Good. Turning on your belly, face the front mirror. Front mirror. For side of the wall, wherever you're looking. I'm used to the studio, as you can tell. Palms are down, squeeze the elbows. Cobra. Inhale, lift up. Lift up into the chest, your palms are down, your legs squeeze together. And when you lift up, you use the spine, not the arms. Shoulders down, inhale, strengthen the spine, lift up one more inch, hold. Exhale, release, left ear down. Toes touch, heels turn out, palms squeeze up by your side. Front of Salabasa, the locust, chin comes out, hands come underneath you, palms face down. So lift the hips up one by one to place the palms down, chin is out. And then we're lifting the legs up one by one, right leg, straighten the leg, inhale, lift up, point the toes. Lengthen with that right leg. Press the palms down, press the shoulders down. Chin is out to lengthen the spine. Inhale, lift up one more inch, hold. Good, release, relax the right leg, contract the left quad, inhale, lift the left leg up. Bring the left leg up, point the toes, straighten the leg as much as you can, lengthen through the hip. Press the palms down, inhale, hold. Good, release. Bring the mouth down and kiss the mouth, protect your neck. Third and final part. Walk the hips up a little bit higher. And then squeeze both legs, inhale, lift as high as you can. If that's an inch or a foot, you're holding it there and you breathe. Inhale through the nose, out through the nose, squeeze them together, inhale, last breath, Ooh. Nice release, straight, you're done. Toes touch, heels turn out, palms face up. When it's all about the blue, kiss chin comes out. Hands go to the side like airplane wings. Say hi to your buddy if you're doing it with your family or friends. Squeeze those legs, inhale, lift up. Upper body comes up, chest comes through, shoulders are down. So when you lift up, you lengthen, squeezing through those arms. Look towards that front or the ceiling of the room. Squeeze the legs, inhale, lift up. Exhale, release. Left ear down. Toes touch, heels turn out, palms face up by your side. Down your ass, both pulling, cross the back, shank thinners, bring the chin out, bend both legs. Grab on the outside of those feet, squeeze the knees together, and then inhale, hold for a bit longer, kick back. So when you kick back, try not to rock back and forth. Kick back with those legs, squeeze the knees. Lift up with the chin. Get the quads up off the floor, kick and reach a little bit more, last few moments, breathe in and out through the nose, hold. Nice release, right ear down. So it's touch, heels turn out, palms face up. Go ahead and push yourself back into child's pose. Hips on heels, knees together or separate. You can open up the knees if your hips are a little bit tighter. You can just bring those knees together. Arms are out in front of you. 
forehead meets the mat. It's a transition posture to get you through to the next posture, which is downward dog. And then tuck the toes, downward dog, hips come up, heels come low. So hands press out in front of you. For reference, hands are shoulder width distance apart. Feet are hips width distance apart. You can bend into the legs if it's too much for those hamstrings. Or you can straighten them out and guide the heels down. Bend the right side of pigeon. Inhale, right knee in front of you outside of the right hip by two inches. Inhale, lift up into the chest. Exhale, come on down. So you're only coming down if the hips are squared. So if it's just like this, if your hips are squared to one another, you come on down. If your hips are not squared to each other, you just stay up like this. Maybe if your hips look like this, you're just lifted up a little bit taller. It's the same stretch wherever you're at. Just noticing where that is for yourself, for your body. It's different for everybody. Tuck the toes, downward dog, hips come up, heels come low. Hands press out in front of you. Shoulders are down. Stretch into those legs, breathe in and out through the nose. Left side, inhale, left knee in front of the outside of the left hip. Point the right leg behind you. Inhale, lift up, exhale, come on down if that's where you're at today. If you did that on that first side, come down on this side. If you stay up on that first side, just like this, stay up on this side as well. Open up the right hip flexor, left glute, left knee. If you need a deeper stretch, you can walk that left heel up forward towards the front of the mat. And then tuck the toes, down the dog, hips come up, heels come low, hands press out in front of you. Hips are high, feel the stretch into those legs, are a little bit more warmed up now. So press the hands out away from you, heels high, hips high, heels low. Good, inhale, exhale, come towards the top of your mat, take a quick sip of water, and we'll move into fixed firm. Come to the top, separate your knees and your feet as wide as you need to, to sit the hips back. So you start right here on all fours, and then slowly your hips will come back in between those heels. If your hips come to the floor today, right elbow hop behind you, just like that. Left elbow, head, shoulders, grab on opposite elbows. If you're up, staying up today, see my hips do not come to the floor. If you're just like this, you're going to stay up using the hands to the side as leverage, and just hold it up here. Breathe in and out through the nose. So you are moving through scar tissue in the knees and in the hips. So wherever you're at, just focusing on the stretch. If you're uncomfortable, if you're feeling a lot of discomfort in the quads and in the knees, come back out of it. Find a comfortable position where it's even in both hips. Go ahead and then right hand, right heel, left hand, left heel. Come up without twisting or turning back of the mat or to Kramasana half tortoise. Hips on heels, knees together, inhale, arms overhead. Palms touch, thumbs cross, inhale, lift, exhale, lead with the chin, bring the upper body down slowly, reach forward. Forward meets the mat, stretch the arms forward, squeeze the arms into the ears. Hips press back, lengthen in the spine. It's a wonderful posture for your spine as you lengthen. It's great for those that deal with depression, some of your anxiety. You lower down the heart rate. You're pressing the forehead, getting the blood flow back to your brain. Then inhale, lift the chin up, and come back up to center. Release the arms. Top of the mat is stress and camel. Your deepest back bend of the series. Walk to the top. Separate your knees as wide as those hips. Hands to the lower back. Squeeze the elbows. Inhale, lift up, lengthen. Exhale, release the head back. And press the hips forward. So you press the hips forward, head hangs heavy first. Two things, eyes are open, mouth is closed. You can hold on to those heels and pull towards that front here, towards the front of the room. Your shoulders are down, head hangs heavy, open up into the chest, squeeze the elbows. Hold on to those heels as much as you can. If you are, pull forward, lengthen in the spine, it's so good. Good, inhale, exhale, come towards the back of the mat. Sasangasana, grab it. If you have a towel, grab onto those heels. If you don't, just hold on to the heels, inhale, lift up. And then exhale, tuck the chin and round into the spine. Right away, top of the head meets the floor. Forehead touches the knees. And now you roll the hips up and forward towards the front here. Belly and tight, shoulders down. Squeeze those heels together. And pull those hips up forward towards the front of the room. Breathe in and out through the nose. Tuck the chin, look towards the belly, pull hard. Good, inhale, release. Come back up to center. Release the grip, come onto your mouth, Savasana. Heels touch, toes turn out, palms face up by your side, relax onto your back, take a deep breath. Mix it up, inhale, arms overhead, flex the feet, inhale. 
should I sell twice? Try to face the front mirror. Front mirror, I keep saying it. Try to face the front of your house, of your room. Right leg out, left foot in, inhale, arms overhead, and release the fingers, turn, twist, grab onto the right foot. Hold onto the ball of the foot. If you can't get it there, you bend the right leg. Get the forward to the knee. Abs are in, shoulders are down, kick out with that right heel. Start to use that forward to straighten out that right leg. You're gonna feel the compression in the throat. So when you tuck the chin, that's the goal right here. It's not to straighten out the right leg. Although that is a benefit of it, you'll feel the stretch in the back side of that right hamstring. And then inhale, arms overhead, switch the feet, left foot out, right foot in, inhale, arms overhead, turn twist, grab onto the foot. So if you can't get that foot, if you can't get the grip with your forehead on the knee and straight, you can bend the left leg, getting the forehead to the knee. Breathe in and out through the nose, roll the shoulders down, pull the belly in, tuck the chin, and then eventually you'll be able to tuck the chin, press the forehead into that left leg and straighten it out. Inhale, arms overhead, bring both feet on the front. You're gonna do a quick sit up, inhale, lay back, inhale, sit up, exhale twice. And now use your index finger, two piece fingers, index and middle finger, hook onto those big toes out in front of you, walk the hips out from under you, get the glutes out. And then inhale, lift up, exhale, pull on those toes. So when you bring that upper body down, chin is lifted, shoulders move down, and you pull. So that when you pull, you can flex the feet, you can kick with those heels. Right away, you should feel the stretch on the back side of those legs. If you don't feel it right away, maybe wrap the elbows underneath the calf, get the forehead to those toes. But if you do feel it, and you need to bend into those legs to keep the posture in the spine, you can. Flat back, inhale, lift up, exhale, pull, hold into it. Good, release, you're gonna do Upavisa Kanasa seated ankle. I don't know which way to turn, now I have this side issues. Okay, turn to face the side of your wall. Separate the feet as wide as you can. Hands come behind you, inhale, lift up, lengthen. Exhale, walk the hands forward. So coming as low as you can for today, if this is where you're at today, great. Stay there and hold it there. Keep that integrity in the legs. If you are coming down today, inhale, exhale, bring the whole upper body down. Come as low as you can. If you are coming all the way down and your chest, your stomach, and the chin hits the floor, grabbing onto those toes using your two-piece fingers, going into spider. Lead with the chin, roll the shoulders down, stretch with those legs, stretch in the groin, the inner thighs, the glutes. Come back up, spinal twist, bend the left leg under, right foot up and over. Right hand comes behind you for stability. Inhale, left arm up and over, grab one in the left knee or face the palm to the back wall. So one of those glutes, inhale, lift up, lengthen, exhale, turn and twist. So you twist so much that so you're twisting with those shoulders and then you eventually twist with the chin. Breathe in and out through the nose. When you lift up, you lengthen. Exhale, turn. Belly is in, shoulders down, and twist. Nice. Release, switch the legs. Right foot under, left foot up and over. Left hand behind the spine. Inhale, right arm up over. Grab into the right knee or face the palm to the other side of the room. Inhale, lift up, lengthen. Exhale, turn and twist. Twist as much as you can, turning towards the back wall. Three things that twist, right shoulder, left shoulder, and then your chin. Towards the back wall, inhale, lift up, last twist, hold. Nice, release, come onto your mat. Heels touch, toes to your mat, palms face up by your side. Breathe in and out through the nose. Great job, made it to the end, flex the foot, last sit up, inhale, arms overhead, inhale. Exhale twice. Good, turn to face the front rear. Front rear, I just, I'm just gonna continue to say front rear. That's not getting out of my head. Cow full body breathing, breath of fire. So we start with the breathing exercise, endocrine two. It looks and sounds like this. You'll stop the belly in, exhale comes naturally. Let's do it together. those knees. Let's begin. Good, great job. Put on your mat. Going into Savasana right here, right now. Come into a posture of rest and gratitude. 
Come into it quickly, find that rest. As you close your eyes, maybe separate the feet, separate the hands. Take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the nose, maybe settle into your mat. I wanna thank you for taking class today. Maybe turn inward, thank yourself as you moved your body, you got your heart rate rising, and now you can really rest. Thankful, being thankful for your body and who you are. For whatever is going on around you can wait, this is the time. And whatever is going on inside of you has priority. I encourage you to rest and be here, be still. Your practice doesn't expect you to show up happy. It expects you to be present. It doesn't mind if you are put together or if you are a mess. You can arrive with a jumbled mind and a heavy heart. Your practice could care less if you can touch your toes and meditate for hours. It asks simply that you show up. I appreciate every one of you. I hope to see you really soon. Let's get through this together. In love and light, namaste.